hi uh, today we will be learning about uh, the compressibility of fluids so uh, we will be doing it over the help of an animation as seen on the screen um, so uh, let's see uh, on the screen you can see three uh, uh, cylinders actually over here so uh, these cylinders are filled uh, with air so this is the first cylinder you can see it is filled uh, with air or gas which is uh, shown in uh, light orange color and this is a piston on the top of it so we are actually applying a load towards uh, this piston uh, this piston is capable of moving up and down so uh, as uh, the cylinder is filled with uh, air and we are applying a load towards the piston uh, see what's happening on the second stage see in the second uh, cylinder we can uh, see what's happening the piston is actually moving down so the piston actually uh, moves down which uh, results in uh, compressing uh, the air or gas which is filled inside uh, the cylinder and when further load is applied to the piston it is again getting further compressed so this is the maximum compressibility of this particular air which is filled inside uh, this cylinder so uh, this proves uh, the compressibility of air so as you know in fluids uh, both air gas and also liquids are there so this example clearly shows that air or gas which is a part of the fluid is actually compressible so uh, now let's see what's uh, about the liquid so here uh, this cylinder is filled uh, with uh, a type of liquid uh, like uh, water or oil whatever it may be and uh, on the top we have a piston we, we are applying a particular load on the piston uh, it is not actually moving down here you can see in the second stage this uh, piston is not moving down so we uh, further apply more load on this piston so let's see what's happening on the third stage this uh, cylinder is actually uh, bulging towards both the directions this is because we are applying more load on the piston and this load is acting towards the liquid so this liquid needs to be displaced uh, to any region so it is actually applying its load equally uh, towards the walls of this cylinder um, uh, due to the pascal's law you can uh, understand that so uh, as a result of that uh, this uh, cylinder walls are getting bulged because this liquid need to get displaced so this clearly shows that liquid is uh, not compressible that's why this piston is not moving down but the cylinder is getting uh, bulged so in fluids we have uh, like uh, air gas and liquid uh, here liquid is a non compressible fluid and air and gas is a compressible fluid so this is what you have to clearly un understand fluids are divided into air and gas and liquid liquids are non compressible and uh, air and gas are compressible so I think you got an idea uh, for other technical videos you can visit my blog or my youtube channel uh, thanks for listening